Welcome to Jump Cloud. Thanks for joining us to discuss Cloud Radius. So what is Radius? Radius is the authentication protocol that gives users access to their Wi-Fi or VPN network resources. Cloud Radius enables IT administrators to facilitate those authentication handshakes without procuring or maintaining additional hardware. JumpCloud recommends individual Radius authentication over shared Wi-Fi passwords for security and compliance reasons. Using one shared password leaves the network extremely vulnerable. Giving users individual credentials for network access is much more secure and is a much more effective method for evoking network access upon user offboarding. Individual credentials also aid in compliance, allowing for richer network access logs. The user experience of not having to remember a separate network credential is an added benefit as well. JumpCloud's open directory platform allows companies to use existing identity tools, such as Azure, Okta, or Google Workspace, or JumpCloud's own identity management offering to provide secure network access using credentials that end users already have. Configuring Cloud Radius servers in JumpCloud is pretty straightforward. Before setup, we want to ensure you have proper group user group structure in place. Once that's confirmed, we can navigate to Radius, click to configure a new server. We'll give the server a name, list the IP address where network traffic will be coming from. If there's more than one IP address that you're working with, we'll be creating multiple Radius servers. And we'll want to ensure that the shared secret is the same on the JumpCloud side as it is on the networking configuration side. On the network side as well, we'll want to ensure that port 1812 is open and we'll want to input the appropriate jump cloud radius IP address, um, depending on geography. Back in the radius server and jump cloud on the authentication tab, we can choose um, our identity provider. Uh, we can choose jump cloud or Azure Active Directory credentials. Okta and Google credentials integrate into jump cloud radius through a different me mechanism, so they don't appear in this dropdown. But again, those credentials can be used for jump cloud radius authentication as well. Once authentication has been chosen, uh, we'll grant users access to the server via group association. So we'll wanna make sure any users that need access to this server are in one of these three groups. Uh, once I'm ready to offboard a user, I can simply come and suspend them. Confirm suspension. I can go down into Directory Insights. If I refresh. We see that user suspension take place there as well. And then this is additionally where we come for our network access logs that are being driven by JumpCloud. Um, we see that we have attempts, successful and failed logins. Uh, these logs come with rich, rich JSON detail and summary. Um, again, these are going to aid you guys in compliance. If you'd like to learn more about JumpCloud's Cloud Radius offering or our open directory platform, uh, please sign up for a free account, jumpcloud.com slash sign up. Otherwise, come find us on our website, jumpcloud.com. Thanks for joining.